Rides. What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're on this little back road area close to my favorite twisty bits because guess what? We have one of those performance sedans that loves to eat twisty bits all day long. It's this vehicle right here. This is a 2023 Orange Blaze Metallic Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. But before we get into this real wheel drive supercharged super sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. Cadillac, they are doing the business when it comes to performance and we are on the crest of that mighty internal combustion engine coming to an end, especially the LT4 that's underneath the hood. Now, of course, Cadillac has some electric vehicles that they're working on, the Lyric, the upcoming Celestic, and many other models down the road, but they wanted to go out with a big bang, not only giving us supercharged VA power, but also the availability of a slick shifting six-speed manual. Now, the CT5V Blackwing, it's interesting because most people would automatically say that this competes with the BMW M5. But this vehicle actually falls sort of in between, whereas it could be a good competitor to the BMW M3, especially that new M3 CS that we brought to you at the Rolex 24. So what I want to find out is, there's only a little bit more time to buy one of these. The way that you see it, is this the better performance sedan over the BMW M3 CS? Let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the shape. This thing looks like a luxury cruise missile, and I'm telling you right now, when we go on throttle, it's gonna prove it. I love how Cadillac does their lighting. Very, very small on the headlight housing and very distinct with their LED daytime running lamp and how it flows into their LED turn signals. Now, you are gonna get these massive corner air intakes. This is for brake cooling, engine cooling, and aero. Little bit of gloss black, nothing too crazy. And then you are gonna get a gloss black splitter that is functional to give us that downforce. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, I like carbon fiber. Can I get carbon fiber? Yes, they do have optional carbon fiber splitter and rear trunklet spoiler. Now, as we come across that V-series grill, that V-grill, you can literally see all the intricate design that they did with that gunmetal silver finish. All of the little edges actually pull, help pull air in through the radiator to help cool all of the heat exchangers behind it. You got that very contemporary-esque Cadillac badge with a forward-facing camera because this does have the PDR, the Performance Data Recorder System. Gloss black around the perimeter, and then I like the way the same grill shape and color continues on the lower portion as well. Now, as we rise up onto the hood, you're gonna get your bulge. So if you're comparing this to a BMW M3, to me, and let me know how you feel in the comment section, this is the more attractive looking front end. Let me know if you like the M3 grill, the big, huge beaver nose or whatever you're calling it, whatever animal they're using for this particular week, pig, beaver, cat, pug, I don't know. Let me know how you feel about the front end of this vehicle compared to the BMW. Now up on the hood, you are gonna get a nice size bulge. So you don't have to worry about getting that big old roll of socks and packing it down somewhere, you get the real bulge. My one zonk is, I wish this had the heat extractor off of the CTSV. Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section. Now, as we come around the bend, I'm gonna spin around here, we're gonna focus on wheel and tire. So what you're gonna notice is we have these drop dead sexy metallic satin multi-spoke wheels, forged aluminum, because that's stronger than cast. It even has the V stamped into one of the spokes with the design. It lets you know that these wheels are specific to the Blackwing. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this wheel? 19 inch. Now, before you get all upset and start yelling, 19 inch, is that it? Yes, the BMW M3 CS does have larger wheels, but I don't know about you. These things look good. And what's nice about a 19 inch wheel is there's more tire choices, especially track-focused tires, and you're gonna have a little bit more rubber 
to protect that wheel rather than just a rubber band that's wrapped around some ginormous wheel. But you're looking at 275 on the width up front, 35 series sidewall. They are those Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. And you'll notice lurking behind that pizza size rotor, two piece rotor, help cut down on weight and increase cooling with the Brembo six piston calipers in that radiant red color with the V-badge on it are gonna allow you to shed speed just like an American Bulldog sheds hair or slobber, I should say. Now, this does have that very famous GM magnetic ride suspension. It's magnetic ride 4.0, version 4.0. And GM is the brand that came up with that suspension technology that's even used in Ferraris today. So you do have that suspension. Now working our way down, I like where they put the V-badge. So much history with performance. And then I'm gonna have Steven kind of swing around and show you that lower fender flare vent. That is a functional piece. That's something that the CT SV doesn't have. But like I said, I would like the heat extractor as well. I'm kind of greedy. I want some extra functionality to the vents and just I think it would help with the overall aggressive appearance. Now you are going to get color matched on the mirror caps, LED turn signals, nice and slim and trim. We got a 360 degree cam cameras. We do have a panoramic sunroof. I wish that they would black out the whole roof. Let me know in the comment section if you are digging that. Now if you're looking at a BMW M3 anything, that comes with a carbon fiber roof so that eliminates any kind of glass roof. So if you like to have your panoramic glass roof in your performance sedan, this is the way to do it because the BMW can't do it. Color mesh on the door handles. You'll notice the little Cadillac badge there with your LED lighting. It's just the little touches that really add up to the big picture. Nice, aggressive, gloss black side sill extension. And then as we come towards the rear, you'll notice on that rear passenger door, it starts to flare into the rear fender. And the reason why is out back, we got 305s. So up front, we have 275s. Out back, we got 305s. We got an electronic limited slip diff. You still got your four piston caliper in the back, massive rotors, and like I said, more rubber to meet the road so we could try to hook up. You got launch control, obviously no lift shifting. And like I said, I think the wheel with the orange burst, it makes me want to just pop open a can of sun-kissed soda right about now because I'm a little thirsty. Swinging around the back, what do we got going on? You got your beautiful Cadillac lighting, all LED, just like up front. New for 2023, I think it's smart. They added the Blackwing badge so people are not confused that this is not a normal V car. Because remember, you can get a CT5 V, it has no V8 in it. It's got a little bit more performance, but this is the badge you want to see. There's that trunk lid spoiler, just enough aggressive look. If you go with the carbon fiber one, not only does it look good, but it gives you a little bit more kick up. Working our way down, look at the way they do the quad tip exhaust. Functional, it's got like a rhombus shape to it. And then as we come to the center area, you got a functional rear diffuser with that quad tip exhaust, the GM performance exhaust. You can make louder, piss everybody off, or you can make it quieter. Plus, under the front, you have what's called an underwing to help channel air underneath this vehicle. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see the heart of this beast. All right, guys, we got the hood popped open. You do have hood struts. Check it out. It's a piece of the Brooklyn Bridge. They actually use this massive strut tower brace to stiffen up the front of the car. You do have a little bit of a plastic cover, which isn't my favorite. But behind the cover, check out the top of the supercharger with the Cadillac badge. And of course, hand built in Bowling Green, Kentucky at the GM Performance Center, that LT4 V8. Same V8 out of my Camaro ZL11LE, but guess what? We got 668 horsepower, 659 pound feet of torque. You can have a 10 speed automatic. But what we have is that slick shifting Tremec six-speed manual, zero to 60 in about 3.5 seconds, quarter mile in 11.5 seconds at 127 miles per hour. Top speed, I hope you're sitting down for this one, 205 miles per hour. Now, MPGs, if you really care, 
I got an upcoming Prius Prime review that's gonna really float your boat, but this thing loves gasoline, MPGs in the city, 13 on the highway, 21, and the vehicle weighs 4,092 pounds. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of those pizza rotors for the brake system? 15.7 inches. I love the massive air box that's unique to the Blackwing. You can see our intake tube and our throttle body. And of course, that supercharger, nicely displayed. But why don't we go uh, ahead, fire this beast up, and let it roar. guys we're inside this orange blaze metallic 2023 cadillac ct5v blackwing it's coming to an end it's coming to an end where these cars are going to be no longer available i know you're saying to yourself well joe i watched your rolex 24 hour unveil of the bmw m3 cs i was really digging what i saw but you know what I'm glad you brought this car back, this Blackwing, because it's got me thinking again. I guess the big question is, how much is it? Very good question. MSRP, the way that this is optioned, right at $100,865. It's actually less expensive, way less expensive, than the BMW M3 CS, which comes in around $130,000. But let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Love the classy, sporty performance look. You got the soft touch material, real carbon fiber. We got the 18 speaker AKG premium sound system with those nice aluminum speaker grill covers, some Alcantara, white contrast stitching, a little bit of gloss black. Actually, it's carbon flash metallic around the switch gear. So it does do a good job of hiding the fingerprints. And then the door pocket is a pretty good size for two cinnamon buns and a bottle of Go-Gurt to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same news. Carbon fiber, soft touch material, stitching. I guess where the Cadillac falls short is gonna be on the infotainment side of things and some of the finishes on the interior. Instead of a larger 12.3 inch, screen like in the BMW M3 CS, you have a 10 inch screen. And what's interesting though, don't be fooled. Even though it's tilted towards the windshield, it doesn't create a lot of glare, which is nice. Now, the one thing that this does have over the actual setup on the BMW M3 CS, like I said, is that performance data recorder, very easy to use system, and it really puts the video overlay with your lap timing so nicely and it's so easy to use. Another thing that I like about this is watch this. When I turn my traction management control system and go into my different V modes, now we can make adjustments. Let's say you want your steering to be a little bit less sensitive. You could do that or you could set it up to sport or we're going all in track. Same thing with your performance traction management. You can make adjustments, suspension, the whole nine yards like the way you could do that can't do that in your bmw m3 cs working our way down real volume knobs tuning knobs ac controls with physical buttons heated seats ventilated seats wireless charging more carbon fiber and then guess what this is where the magic happens this is that tremec six-speed manual with no lift shift which means you can leave the throttle pegged just hit the clutch and shift into the next gear automatic rev match downshift, crisp engagement. Really, really love just the way it looks with the nice touches that they did. Carbon fiber, the V badge, and then look at the key fob. This is something I wanna explain. If you're wondering, Joe, why is the key fob red if you're in an orange Cadillac? It's actually based off the color of the calipers. So this is the color on our car of the caliper, the brake calipers. You got your buttons on the back. Of course, no remote start because we have the manual. Nice leather with the stitching, open it up. You got some felt lining, two USB A's, a 12 volt, and you could put eight of your old 1980s mixtapes. Remember when you used to pick up that girl and you had that special tape ready to rock and roll so you could go make out? 
you can keep those tapes in there. They're probably worth their weight in gold today. Seats, major performance. Love the stitching, the piping, the V-badge. One piece back with bolstering that's right out of a race car. Full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. And we got massage seats. So your BMW M3 CS isn't gonna massage you as you're turning those quick laps at VIR. Alcantara headliner, that other thing we have is our panoramic sunroof. Even though it's split, it still qualifies. And on top of that, you got that beautiful digital rear view mirror to see the competition behind you very, very clearly. But why don't you get your butt over here to the steering wheel. I wanna show you behind it in the black. All right, guys, we're behind the wheel, the business end. Love the V-badge, illuminates at night. All LED, the pedal box right out of a freaking Cadillac. Hypercar prototype racer, nice aluminum dead pedal, that clutch, brake, and throttle. You do have your seat controls, easy to get to with massage seat settings. The bolstering really is not that bad. Don't be scared of the bolstering. It really holds you in nice without squeezing you. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom, steering wheel. Love it, the leather, you got the leather red stripe up top to help you know where top dead center is carbon fiber with our number plate and then what i really like is you get some stitching on the horn button and we have our v button and that performance traction management switch which i'll show you what that does in a split second it is power tilting and telescoping steering wheel and then you got that beautiful digital display now right now we're in tour watch this i hit the vmo button shabam we're right into the highest setting look at the way everything changes and you got your instrumentation on the left, and then watch this. I turn the PTM switch, and that allows me to go into my separate settings to really allow the traction control to work with me and not against me. Also, you're gonna have a killer head-up display with all the important information, but let's get into the back seat and see where your passengers are gonna be barfing as you're turning hot laps at the Nordschleife. All right, guys, back seat time, and what's wonderful is actually a pretty decent amount of room in here. I mean, they do carve out the headliner like a pumpkin, like you're making a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween so that you could get some extra headroom. So my head is not touching the headliner, which is nice. You could see those one-piece backs. Optional, you could get this full carbon fiber and it's drop dead sexy. But this, you have the Alcantara with the V-badge. You do get little AC vents a USB-C and a 12 volt. The problem is, is that your passengers are gonna have to bring their own puke bags because there's no place to store them back here. So my advice is if they're gonna puke, just tell them to open up the door and jump out. And that's it. Seating, super charm and soft. Cup holders, nice and large. Even the way they did the seat material, just like up front with the piping and everything, looks great in the back seat. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the trunk and see what kind of junk we could haul around a racetrack in a black wing. All right guys, time to get into the trunk. What makes this perfect is that this is a totally usable daily driver. Open up the trunk, you got over 14 cubic feet of space. I like the way it's got the perfect nook here for your track box of Twinkies. And of course the seats, the rear seats will do a 60-40 split. But one thing to notice is that you actually have a smaller opening because of the additional bracing that they put at the back of this vehicle. But you know what? The wind is blowing. We gotta go. We're gonna go on throttle and smoke them because we got them in this Blackwing. Let's go do Guys, it. Guys, it's twisty bit time. We're in this Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. I have it in full track mode. And if you're ready, I'm ready. We're gonna see what that LT4 and this Tremec 6 speed can do or if you should go BMW M3 CS. Are you ready? Because we got launch control. Are you ready? Here we go. Hold that throttle. Release clutch, here we go, yeah! <laughs> Woo! No lift shift. On the brakes. the traction control doing its thing. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. So let's talk about what's going on here before I break the land speed record. It's one of those things where the technology from all of GM's race programs all come together. I mean, this is stuff that you're not gonna find a lot of other cars. No lift shift, you heard it. It, it cuts out that ignition timing. The traction control, same thing. Yeah, we're rear wheel drive, but the system works so well to give you maximum propulsion off the corner without you totally looping it. And that's what's great is you can make those adjustments on the fly with the PTM, the Performance Traction Management System. And this six speed, it's like a freaking hot knife through butter. It's like you're, you just got a freaking nice, fresh, you're at Panera and they scream hot bread and they're slicing the bread. That's what you're doing with this Tremec. Instrumentation, very clear. Love the head up display with a gear indicator. Just the sound, the pops, the bangs. It doesn't sound too artificial or obnoxious, which is nice. And it allows you to be one with the car. These days, they're, they're numbered, guys. They're, they're, they're totally numbered and things are changing. And then, like I said, you can make those adjustments very easy with the performance traction management system. I'm making some calculations right now and then we are going to uh, go on throttle again. Launch control, it's great. You don't have to do like A, B, A, B, left, right, left, right, start this, that, and everything else. All you gotta do is put your foot on the clutch, hold down the throttle, release! And the traction control came in. I had the traction control on that one. Let me stop it. All right, guys, what I love about this car is how easy it is to do launch control. You don't have to have some, you know, Rice Krispie Treat decoder ring that you got at the box, the bottom of the box of cereal. All you gotta do, left foot on clutch, right foot down. You hear that? Here we go. First gear release, yeah! <laughs> Dab of the brake, little dabby dab. The grip from the freaking front and back of this car is just phenomenal. really phenomenal of a performance car and this is a car that you could daily drive you could technically and I'm starting to get a little sweaty here I got my towel you could daily drive this no problem and you're getting all that race technology and engineering all in one package it's a car that 10 years from now you're gonna say to yourself I shoulda woulda could have picked one of these up. And like I said, yes, the BMW M3 CS, definitely in a straighter line, zero to 60 and all that other stuff is gonna be quicker. But on a racetrack, when you're rowing through the gears and you're hitting all your apexes and you're just one with the car, that's where the real true love of being a car enthusiast is, it, is all about. And that's why this Blackwing exists, is for us car enthusiasts. On throttle, here we go. Really nice, the balance. Love this section back here, a little bit of a decreasing radius turn on the brakes. Watch out for the people cutting the grass today. It's just crazy because everybody says, all-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, all-wheel drive. And yes, on a BMW M3, you can get that X-Drive system, and it's a great system, but having the less weight of not having all-wheel drive, but when you have a traction control system, a performance traction management system, that's what they call it, the PTM, working with you and not against you, it allows you to maintain that optimum grip and you have the quicker revving engine because 
you're not driving four wheels. You're just driving the two rear wheels. And the fact that you could adjust it on the fly is so awesome from a technology standpoint. I mean, these are things that were just once thought about in race cars. And then if you need to drive it halfway normal, it's easy. The clutch is not heavy. It's got a good pickup point. It's not like an on-off switch. It's just funny because you have to condition your mind that if you're going to use the no lift shift option, you got to make sure you just keep your foot on the throttle. And it just works so very well. All right, guys, one more time for you. Definitely one more time for me. If you're ready, I'm ready. Release yeah! it! <laughs> Woo! Nice. The grip. Look at this. And you're not having to white knuckle the wheel on those brakes. Look at this. Yeah. Here we go. Unfreaking believable. Unbelievable. And the fact that you're doing it, you're rolling through the gears, you're grabbing onto this steering wheel and working the triple pedals, it just brings such a good feeling that these days are numbered. They're numbered. And speaking of days being numbered, we gotta wrap this one up. So we're gonna get back to where it all began. I'll see you in a split right, second. guys, it's been a rip-roaring kind of day going on throttle in this supercharged V8 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. We definitely gotta thank everybody at Cadillac for allowing access to this luxury cruise missile. But let me know what you think. Do you like the way that Cadillac is still doing it, allowing the flexibility of that Tremec six-speed, or are you just gonna go all in and go the BMW M3 CS route? Let me know in that comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Of course, we gotta give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. Check him out on Instagram. He takes some pretty darn good pictures. Show them some love in the comments section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.